What is up guys? Welcome back to Everything Engineering. Today we're doing another example with numerical methods analysis. In this video I'm going to derive the newton raphson algorithm and then apply it to this function f of x equals x cubed over 2 plus 10. So first of all, if I want to look over to the right, we've got a graph here. We've got any random function of x and we've got a point, our first point, xi. And this, the idea behind the newton raphson method is that we want to draw a tangent line to our first guess of xi. So this is our tangent line to our first guess xi at this point. Now the idea is to use where it crosses zero, where our tangent line at the point cross zero, that's going to be our xi plus 1. That's going to be our second root estimate. And our function value at that point, we take and we draw another tangent line. And as you can see, at x3, our third point, it gets pretty close to the root. So we do that a number of different times in order to home in on our actual 0 and we get closer to the real root that's kind of the way this method works so we have an initial guess xi we find the function value at that point xi draw our tangent line to the curve and where that tangent line intersects and where that tangent line intersects our x-axis we plug that into our function again and we have a new tangent line to our curve and we keep repeating that until our error, our approximated error, is low enough such that it will be in an acceptable range. So if you look over to the graph, we can call this phi, that angle phi. So we know that tan phi is going to equal rise over run, which equals our slope. And we also know that is going to equal f prime of xi at this point. It's going to be the slope at that point which will be the derivative of our function at that point. So we can evaluate our rise over run to be f of xi minus 0 the height, right? Just the height, the rise minus the run, our horizontal distance which will be this distance. So that equals f prime of xi. Alright, so let's clean this up. So f prime xi equals x, x, f of xi all over xi minus xi plus 1. So this is going to be the general equation for our slopes and our iterative process that we're going to develop the newton raphson method. So now if we just further simplify therefore xi plus 1 which is this is what we really are trying to get because we want to have an iterative process to get xi plus 1 closer and closer to the actual root of our function. So this is what is important, right? So this equals simply, this equals xi minus f of xi divided by f prime of xi. And this is the algorithm that we're going to use in our, in our function to get closer and closer to the actual root during an iterative process. So let's take an example. Okay, looking back at our function here, f of x equals x cubed over 2 plus 10. Let's redraw that. Of course, this is not to scale. So we have f of x equals plus 10. So that's what this function is over here, and it's obviously not going to look exactly like this. Is, this is not to scale drawing, but we are just using this as a qualitative uh, example. So first thing you want to do, you want to take the derivative of your function. So you've got the derivative, you've got the regular 
equation, regular function, and we want our first guess to be minus 3. So that'll either be given to you or you can choose your first guess, um, but we know what the root of this function is. It's going to be minus 2.71 roughly. So we're going to guess first of all just to be this to do uh, minus 3. So we have our point minus 3, our function value f of minus 3 is this point right here. Now you want to find the slope. Draw, draw the tangent line. And that crosses the zero right here. So we come up and this is f of x2. So let's calculate what this x2 is going to be. Using the formula that we found above, we have x2 is equal to x1 minus, this is the newton raphson formula that we just derived, and we're going to calculate our x2. And this will give us minus 2.741 so which is closer to what the actual root is we know it's going to be 2. Point, minus 2.7 something so now what we can do is draw another tangent and that's getting pretty close f of x3 so now let's calculate our x3 value and see how close that gets us or well, first we can calculate our error with our x2. The formula for the error is nothing more than this. So that's going to equal roughly 9.5%. So that's not the like, great, it's not very good. So one more iteration should probably get us a little bit closer to where we want to be. So let's do one more iteration. x2, sorry, x3. So this formula now will give us minus 2.715 and if you look back up here 2.715 pretty close to our original x2 and we know that it's going to be 2.71 something so this is probably going to be a pretty good guess so let's calculate the error with this and see what we get So we're getting a little bit under 1% error, so this is going to be good. So that, that is uh, our final answer after two iterations. We can see that our xr, which equals our, our root, is roughly equal to negative 2.715, and that's within a 1% error. So that's the root of our equation, and that is an example of the newton raphson method. So we did the derivation, and then we did an example, and that applies for any nonlinear function. Um, if it does have a root, that is how you would calculate it using the newton raphson method. So thanks for watching my video. If you like, please share and subscribe. Check out my website at www.everythingeng.com, and also connect with me on LinkedIn. Search me up, Blake Tavian. Thanks and good luck.